So yeah, so Mike McFarland was in a comedy troupe with us, Section 8 Comedy, performed uh, improv and sketch comedy. We were kind of like, uh, whose line is it anyway in Saturday Night Live, except we said the F word a lot. Uh, and then uh, Mike came in one day into the back, we were at the uh, Ozona Bar and Grill. We had a regular show there at the Ozona Bar and Grill down on Really, Greenville really Avenue. good quesadillas there. Right, right. Fine Hispanic food and, uh, and great comedy on Tuesday nights of all, play of all nights. Uh, so... Mike came in one night and was like, hey, man, out in Fort Worth, they're uh, paying people to do voices for cartoons. And I'm like, you're doing it? And he's like, yeah. Well, I was like, well, then I know I can do it. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, no, Mike's wonderful. And uh, so uh, I went in one day. Uh, Mr. Satan was on the, on the docket, as they say. He was there, and he had a belt on. He had the championship belt on. He had a victory pose kind of thing going on. His mouth was wide open. I saw this mustache, and the belt, and I just thought, the only thing that kept going through my hood, but head was Hulk Hogan. This guy looks like Hulk Hogan. Uh, and so I went with kind of Hogan as the base and sort of that 80s wrestler mentality, sort of cutting a promo, you know, I'll see you at the Omni in Atlanta, brother, you know, and kind of... Uh, Which works great yeah. with the delay. Like the delay, it's like we're right. at a wrestling yeah. match. This is perfect. Because what are you going to do, brother, when all the Hulkamaniacs go wild on you, brother? Yeah, you know. <laughs> So, uh, so they seemed to like it, and uh, Barry. Uh, that was good, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. uh, and uh, Barry, uh, what was his name? Watson. Watson calls me up and says, "Hey, Chris, uh, we're gonna cast you as uh, Mr. Satan." Oh, that's not how he said it. He went, "Oh hey, yeah, we're gonna cast you as Mr. Satan, <laughs> Mr. Satan." Yeah, sorry, sorry. Oh, I, I I get it mixed up now. It's been a while since I've had to do Barry. Uh, that sounded weird. We aren't going to call him Satan. We're going to call him Hercule because we live yeah, in the right. South. The TV don't like it. Well, one of the things I always hated, too, is in the script, there was a writer who would never write the word Satan. Instead, I think it was Neil Christopher Bly was oh, his yeah. name. Yeah, he and didn't... he would write Mr. Mau Mau in the script. And so that was when I knew to say Satan. And that just, oh, that irritated me to no end. Anyway, that would bother me. I, just I would have probably that out. I just had to get that out. I feel so much better. Thanks, guys. Probably would have written it in and then shipped it back to him with a bunch of six six sixes on it. Yeah, I would have gone and pentagrams. I would have. Uh, but uh, so I went and audition. I got the part, and then one day, Sabbath and some of the guys come out to see the show. And in that show, Josh Martin here does a character that we uh, had named the uh, Pillsbury Homeboy, <laughs> in which we had converted the Pillsbury Home Doughboy into a gangster rapper. And I'll let Josh take over. Nothing says loving like the blood so be puffing. <laughs> and I said, that needs to be the voice of Majin Buu. <laughs> That's how casting works. Ding. And that was it. That's enough. Right? <laughs> yes, indeed. What do we got? Oh, the last one. Last Here one. we go. Oh, shit. If you were in a wrestling match, would you rather team up with Hulk Hogan or with Macho Man Randy Savage? Oh my god, I don't know. <laughs> Man, I gotta go Hogan. All the way. I gotta go Hogan, I do. You're going blue, you're going my Slip mind. pin to a Slim Jim, oh yeah. <laughs> on the Macho Team, oh yeah. Elizabeth, let's go. <laughs> Listen up here, Eugene. I'm going to see Macho Man out there at the Anomaly in Atlanta, brother. I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to come in there, and I'm going to take him down. I'm going to take him down real far. Because what are you going to do? What are you going to do, brother, when Hulkamania runs wild on you? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh okay. Well, Mr. Hulk Hogan has got something <laughs> to tell me, does he? Oh, yeah. Well, I got something to tell you. Oh, yeah. Elizabeth, tell him. <laughs> hey, man, I just want to say thank you guys for coming out tonight. I really appreciate you guys coming out and support what we do. You know, personally, I'm a fan of both of you, and I would love to support you guys with everything you do. So it's awesome that you guys come out and support us. So. What is this? Who's this you, guy? Who's, who am I? Who am yeah. I? Who are you, pal? I'm the champ. You're the champ. You're nothing. What are you, this is a couple of your anime geek friends? Are you kidding me? You make me sick, Elbert. Look at you. You're supposed to be a man. You're supposed to be a wrestling. Yeah. Keep going. What were you saying about nerds? Yeah, nerds. Like anime and huh? stuff oh. like that. What were you saying? Oh. 
ACAs are going to have your nerd yeah. friends and the machine gun with you. If you want to fight the champ, you got to fight me, chump. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, listen up, boo. I only got twenty dollars, so don't do anything too crazy. What do you want? You want a vintage caramel latte? Who want chocolate? Uh, okay, we'll get. It. Hey, buddy, we need uh, two chocolate uh, croissants. That's right. That's French for crescent roll. <laughs> Who wants pudding? I don't think they got pudding, boo. <laughs> hey, you Who guys got want pudding? Hey, there, millennial person. I need you to go get some damn pudding, or everyone's gonna die. <laughs> Take a shot of whiskey. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, that sounds good. All pudding booze. Yes, you yeah! have to share. No, you have to share the pudding. We haven't had the pudding. No. Look, man, just let them have the pudding. No, all pudding booze. <laughs> They're so threatening, aren't they? Scary. We're all gonna die. We're all gonna die. Let me eat you up. Don't let him eat you. <laughs> Don't let him. I gotta go get some whiskey. 